Hey everybody, my name is Kyan and I am the marketing assistant here at Blogettes and today I'm going to teach you how to make our intros that we do on our Instagram stories. I've been getting a million questions on how to do these so I'm going to take you in a final cut right now and show you how it's done. So the easiest way to make these Instagram story intro videos is honestly to use plugins. It saves you a lot of time. They're already pre-made for you and they're really easy to use. So we get our plugins currently from Pixel Film Studios. They make Final Cut products as well as Motion 5. And if you just go to their website under text and titles, um, they have a bunch of options, but we just use an intro title package. And they're really affordable. Honestly, they're usually on sale for about 30 bucks. And there's a lot of options. So, you know, if you're a wedding photographer, um, there's specific ones for that. So, yeah. The first step is to download um, whichever one you like and install it um, to use in Final Cut. They do have tutorials on the website um, to show you exactly how to do that. So once you do that, we're just going to head over to Final Cut. And we want to start a new project. So we can call this Instagram Story Intro. Okay, and this is where you're going to be making changes. So you want to go into here and under video put custom. And we want to take change the resolution to fit the Instagram Story size. So um, the resolution for Instagram Stories is 900 by 1600. And that's going to give you that long um, vertical look right there. Okay, so then the first step I like to do is just um, picking kind of like the background color. So I just go under the generators um, and pick just a solid color and drag it in. And there's so many options you can do with this. You can also, you know, pull in a custom color. You could even put like a video, like you could put maybe just like water in the background and then throw in your text over it. So there's a lot of crazy cool ideas you can do with this. So once you do that you can kind of uh, lengthen the video. So Instagram stories allow for 15 seconds. So I usually do for my intros because I don't want them to be too long is about nine seconds depending on what the effect is. So the next thing you want to go is titles which is where all of those plugins will be installed after you get them. So I will show you with one of these. Uh, this one is the Fashion Volume 3. So you can kind of go sc scroll through and you can get an idea of what they look like right here as well. So I'm going to use this one for example because I know it is a good size for the Instagram stories and you just drag it on top. And that is something to be aware of. Um, a lot of the plugins, as you can see, are going to be a little bit too big and you want to pick something that's narrow that will fit in. Um, the great thing about this is you can resize it. If you want to resize it to kind of fit your orders better, you can just drag it like this. That's a good size. I'm going to move it up a little bit. But you will notice with some, for example, like this one right here will not fit nicely unless you um, kind of make this, the fonts really small. So going back to this, if we want to get in and customize the colors a little bit, you're just going to hit this T up here. And from here, you can go in and change. I have the blog that's color saved. So I'm just going to pick those. You scroll down this is where all the text is and then if you wanted to go in and customize this text you would scroll all the way to the top where it says editable and click it with a check mark and from there you can highlight and go ahead and change the fonts based on everything you have in your um, font library. So we're just going to pick this for the sake of it. Can make it bigger. And then one thing to be sure of is to go back into this T and click uncheck that button or else that thing you just saw, this banner at the bottom, will save with the video. So go ahead and click that. 
And then the last kind of finishing touch, you can add in some music. Like so. And you kind of background music you have in your library. Throw it on there. And that is the finished product. If you want to actually, you may want to move the text a little bit up so it fades out before the video ends. So then from there, you would just go and share it. And I like to just share it as a master file. You just want to make sure that this is um, MP4. And then you're just going to go ahead and save that. And then from there, you can actually, um, I like to just Dropbox it, or not Dropbox, I like to airdrop it to my phone. And um, from there, you can just post it on Instagram. If you're not posting that video that day, um, another option is to go to Planoly and they actually have an Instagram story scheduling tool where you can import the videos here. So look, for example, I have our Thursday video in already. Um, and then when I go to the app and save it, it'll change the, the data to be able to post within that 24 hours. I know there are other apps as well that can erase the data of certain uh, media on your phone. So that is also a good option if you don't have Planoly. Alright guys, so that is exactly how we make our intros for our Instagram stories. There's definitely other options out there if you don't have Final Cut Pro. I recommend checking out my other video on the ultimate guide to Instagram stories for some more ideas. But thank you for watching. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Bye!